hello all uh, in this uh, youtube video or tutorial we'll look into the research article uh, journal article which i have published uh, in the journal of uh, vibrations engineering and technologies this is the title of uh, the article you can check it out online for the details of what i have done in a finite element analysis so basically i have created a blastless oh uh, sorry blasted track model let me get uh, you to the figure yes so this is the figure one and it explains all the geometrical properties of uh, the railway track model it has a blast sub blast and subgrade and uh, we are going to model this same model in abacus uh, which will include some python automation uh, using uh, uh, involving some macros and uh, from the macro we can create our own python code and simplify the procedure for uh, future model creations so let's start with abacus so for abacus uh, this is abacus 2017 version which is provided by iit delhi so uh, i am still using this remotely now uh, what we should do first is that we have to go to file we have to go to macro manager and we have to create a macro and we'll create a macro in the working directory we'll name this macro as macro one only and we'll start with continue and we'll stop recording when we want it so what we are going to do with this macro recording is that whatever we are going to do in abacus will be uh, recorded in the form of python codes so let's first start with the sketching so we'll sketch uh, the parts which we have seen in the general article which are ballast sub ballast subgrade rails and uh, sleepers and all of them will uh, assign the properties and assembly so we'll uh, have different parts of this tutorial so this first sketch we are going to call as blt which is uh, standing for the blast the approximate size we are going to take as 10 now i have the coordinates of the blast which will start from 0 comma 0 to the thickness of 0.35 so it uh, all the coordinates are already recorded in the journal uh, you can take a look and you can automatically uh, generate your own coordinates so i will directly go to line creation and i will uh, start entering the coordinates 0 comma 0 then enter then i will go up and here i have to enter 0 comma 0 0.35 which is the thickness of our ballast and then i will go on the left side here i have to enter the coordinate of uh, minus 1 point 775 comma 0.35 okay so like so and i have to go to a slant edge distance which is uh, at a, a angle of 1 by 2 10 theta is 1 divided by 2 which is 0 0.5 so that's the slope which we are assuming here and this is the this coordinate will be minus 2.475 comma 0 so these are the coordinates and we'll finally join it with origin now this is our sketch it's ready now we'll close it we'll click on done now you can see our sketch called blt is ready we'll go to edit and you can see this is the sketch now we'll stop recording and uh, we'll go to the folder where we have our macro here so what you can do is you can go to abacus you can go to uh, macro manager you can see this macro is here you can delete it but before deleting you have to check out the macro here so abacus macro dot py pyc is python compile file which you don't want to look at py is the file so this is my working directory you can check your working directory basically you can uh, change your working directory by going to set working directory mine is d abacus so that's where i am at now you can see this is d abacus okay so i'm going to open this uh, uh, python macro in notepad plus plus so you can have any notepad editor uh, i generally use notepad plus plus because it's much more simpler so this is a python macro so uh, we have to create a script from this macro so i will i'm going to guide you first uh, let's save this as uh, 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 let's uh, yeah save this as s k e t c h because we are going to sketches uh, we, we are going to create uh, sketches all of them so sketches all and save so it is now saved as sketch all dot py now we'll remove this def which is the function call and uh, we'll select all of basically we should select all of the code under this lines and we'll click on shift tab 
so that it will stretch the basically in python language uh, you should have a small uh, coding background uh, to understand what i am doing here in python uh, we don't have a, a full uh, quotes or uh, full stops or columns or brackets we generally have indentation so indentation only decide what type of code is going to run when so here uh, we would like to import all of them because they might be use, being used in future uh, aspects of our model so starting from the sketch al also this are being used so we don't want uh, the unuseful lines so i'm going to remove this session viewport set values so we don't want these lines we want this line s is equal to mdb.model model 1 is constraint sketch profile so instead of profile we are just going to call it blt and uh, name of the sketch will be blt g v d c are basic uh, 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 vertices uh, geometry dimensions and constraint so we are not going to use them but anyway let's keep them there now we are going to remove the primary object uh, object setting line this is also not required we only require four lines and uh, we are going to remove all the other lines so we are going to use only this lines where point 1 and point 2 are connected and the line is connecting them so s dot line which is the vertices being connected via points and we will uh, remove the lines which are uh, between these uh, two required lines so yeah uh, yeah all of the lines are not required so only these four lines are required okay so we are joining 0 comma 0 to 0 comma 3 point which we have done in the sketch okay so this is our general python code by which we can create a, a, a sketch which has the name of blt and c size sheet size of 10 so i am going to save this and what i am going to do is after saving this i am just going to delete this macro because we don't want it now and i am going to dismiss this and what I am going to do further is that uh, I will start with a new model, whole new model and I will not save this model. So you can see there are no sketches now. So what we will do is that we will go to file, we will go to run script and we have a python script ready sketch.all which we will going to run. Now click on ok and you can see here uh, nothing has happened except for the sketch which has uh, been created now which was not here previously. We'll look into the sketch we'll go into edit and see this is the sketch you can check out the dimensions again uh, the thickness will be 0.35 yeah it's that the bottom height will be uh, 2.475 yeah so that is it yeah you can see here 2.475 and all the other dimensions are uh, such that they are good and that's what we are going to do we are going to create other sketches so similar to that so in the next part of this tutorial we are going to create a sketch using only the python uh, uh, sketch file so using uh, we'll extend our sketches into this file let me give you some example i'm going to copy it and uh, i'm going to paste this now after blt we have the lower part which is called subbala so i'm going to call it sbt and everything will be same uh, you can even remove this line because it has already defined uh, at above so we don't want to define it again but this s uh, uh, we can reuse it because s has already been created and now we can reuse the s variable here like so okay so s line uh, instead of uh, 0 comma 0 uh, uh, we can start with 0 comma 0 just down the blast because sub blast will be anyway under the blast so we can start with 0 comma 0 but we have to go a little bit down so instead of 0 0.35 we'll go to negative 1 minus 1 because that's the thickness of our subblast you can check out in the article now this point and this point should be same control v and this point should be a derivative of the point 1 not exactly derivative but uh, negative 1 and we'll move uh, on the left side by a distance of negative 5.875 so you can uh, create all these dimensions based on the article which i have pasted now i am going to copy this i am going to paste it here the same point and i am going to paste it here again now this point will go a little up so 1 by 2 ratio of the slope will basically mean that uh, <coughs> it has to go uh, about 2 meter behind so we'll 
move it to minus 3.875 and the uh, uh, upper dimension upper upper line will be 0 comma 0 now from this line we'll copy and paste it here so what we are doing basically is we, we are connecting this last point here to this last point here so this point was the start point and this point should be end point so you can see here as well what we have done is the same this point is the start point this point is the end point so that's how we are creating a sketch now we can save it and uh, we can again go to a backus and we can create a new file where nothing is new okay so there is no sketch there is no part we'll go to file we'll go to run script and we'll go to sketch all now we have two sketches blt and sbt you can see here so that's what we are going to do and uh, similarly we are going to create sketches for all of them all the parts which are shown here we have done ballast sub ballast now we'll go for subgrade and we will go for rail which is the b and c which are the sleeper so that's what we are going to do in the next part of our tutorial so thank you